Virgos, welcome. Thanks for joining me. This is your love, romance, and relationship read for the winter solstice 2021. Four card read. This is the bottom of the deck. This is you, where you're at, in and around love and relationships. The bottom of the deck, um, this is doing a lot, a lot of activity, but it is the wounded warrior. It, you know, it's a story a lot of pe a lot of us have. Uh, but when you're showing up here with the Queen of Swords, this is a very strong looking Queen of Swords, uh, very resolute uh, in terms of love and relationships. You're not playing. But then you gotta see in this reading on a four cards you have two uh you have a queen and a king and the empress. But this is what's blocking you. This is so this is as if it's the empress in reverse. So you know the Empress in reverse, I mean it's just a, a screaming bitch energy, uh uh, someone that is deliberately uh, will deliberately attack you. It does carry with it the connotation of divine feminine energy, though. Uh, with Venus, uh, it's uh, in reverse. Someone who might uh, outwardly maintain some stance of uh, being your friend or something, but they're working behind your back, working behind your back, you know. Um, and so I see this going on possibly in a marriage here, uh, and this being what's uh, blocking you here. Um, and so this now is your advice from spirit, and I have to see this as a, you know, Taurus or Virgo or Capricorn personality coming in. Could be male or female, you know, you're male or female, uh, but. You would be someone, if not older, you're quite substantial, quite capable, you know, so is this other person. But this is what's standing between you, I'm really having a hard time uh, not seeing this as a person here. So what it's standing between is you and your person here, this king of, uh, uh, Taurus king, king of pentacles, uh, Capricorn king, most likely in my mind, you know, um, and you guys are a good match in yourselves. Uh, but this empress somehow, and being an empress in between a king and a queen, it holds a lot of power somehow. Uh, like both of you have a lot of power, but the empress is still in between you. It's almost as if by, she holds more power than the two of you combined. Or maybe that's like the test. But kind of you could almost say what's at stake here is that Nothing less than the Ten of Cups is 100% about love. And I think uh, you, you, the wounded warrior here coming in at the bottom of the deck, you know, you've been a long way getting here to be this uh, queen of uh, swords here. And uh, I just see this another kind of a time stamp thing. Maybe there's advice in that... Uh, you know, don't let this empress stand between you and your uh, Ten of Cups. You know, another way to look at this, if this is the person here, they are this earth sign, this is in the position of advice from spirit. And I got to tell you, I don't want to break up a marriage, but this may not be a marriage. It could be somehow they're connected. It could be like a <clears throat> mother coming in and influencing or something. Uh, but... Uh, and spirit is telling you that this is your person. That's what they're saying. And that they're a king, that they're also stable. I think they're kind of like your equal, basically. However you want to look at that. They're equal to you. This is uh, not a marriage up or down, uh, you know. Um, and also, it implies that you will have the Ten of Cups in the future. So it does appear to me that this, uh, and you are facing right into the weed reading, this Queen of Swords here uh, can, in a sense, overcome this Empress energy, reversed energy, bitch on wheels, and prevail. I had to see it like that, guys. Let me know what you think. If you can think of anywhere to share this, please do. And I uh, do appreciate it if you like. If you have a comment, I will try a reply. And do subscribe. Hit the bell. Thank you.